today's video, I'm going to share with you how to fill the sepsis tool in your NMC UK midwifery or ski exam. This video is not only going to help with the OSCE exam, but also in your everyday work life in the hospital as a nurse or midwife on how to fill the sepsis screening tool in the care of your patients. Welcome back to my channel. This is just in greatness, just in friends. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos to my retail subscribers guys thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos commenting liking sharing it follow me or subscribe to my other social media handles on facebook tiktok telegram instagram <laughs> links to my telegram channel and page are in the description section below click on it and join it if you need support in your journey to getting your nmc uk pin as a nurse nursing associate or midwife join it in the process of training um, or supporting uh, midwives in getting their uh, NMC OSCE exam done, I realized that most of you guys struggle with filling out the sepsis screening too. And as a midwife working here in the UK as well, I have also seen throughout my practice that some um, registered staff members also struggle with filling out the sepsis screening tool. So what is a sepsis screening tool? The sepsis screening tool is a tool that is used to screen patients that are kind of red flagging or flagging as having possible sepsis. And so the tool is used to screen them to either um, come at a diagnosis that, okay, indeed this patient is septic or not. So that it can be, you know, sepsis is a it's an emergency. And so this tool is is, is it's a means of helping us fish out those patients that are getting septic or are already septic so that they can have the appropriate timely management to you know treat the sepsis so now today i'm going to take you through how to fill out the sepsis screening tool especially for those that are sitting the oski exam if you are already a registered staff that is also struggling to fill out the sepsis screening tool then watch this video to the end <laughs> So this is how the sepsis screening tool looks like. I hope you can see it in full. Yes. So basically, this is the kind of sepsis screening tool you are going to see in your OSCE exam and in the midwifery top 2021. So you can see it is written inpatient maternal sepsis screening tool. That's a UK sepsis trust. So this tool is to be applied to all women who are pregnant or up to six weeks postpartum or after the end of pregnancy, if pregnancy did not end in a bit, who have a suspected infection or have clinical observations outside the normal limits. Okay. So as I've already said, this tool is for those that have, um, that are suspect suspected to have sepsis or those that have um, observations, clinical observations that are outside the normal limit so at the top here you can see it is divided into two so the left side and then the right side so let's deal with the top first and they are grouped into the parameters are grouped into boxes okay so the first box on the left is patient details so usually the patient details should have been already pre-filled for you but always look at it if it hasn't been pre-filled it means that you have to fill it yourself okay so if you have to fill it yourself, let's say, for example, the patient's name is Amy Hall. So you put Amy Hall there and then the date of birth. So you put dates of birth, 25th January 1995. And then the hospital number, hospital number. I'm going to put this into short form some of the words here into short it should be pre-filled for you but if it's not and you are pre-filling it please write the number in full i'm just trying to make this video as short as possible so let's say for the example the number hospital number is one two three four five and six and then the patient's address so the address let's say it's um 62 cabin road okay k2 and co2 that's the postcode okay and then so we are trying to deal with the 
the top first we are quite trying to go from top to bottom all right so on the <clears throat> upper right side you've got the staff member completing the form so this is you you are the one completing the form okay so dates you put today's date so usually in the oski exam it will be today so whatever date that you are writing the exam let's say for example it is first january 2025 okay so whatever date you are writing the exam you put it there then your name let's say you are called vida hinson all right you put your name there and then your designation is you are a midwife i will avoid writing registered midwife because i am not yet registered if you are writing the oski exam then you are not yet registered on the nmc register so you are not yet a registered midwife even though you are a registered midwife from your home country so you can just put midwife but if you are watching this video as already registered midwife but you need help in filling out the sepsis screening too in your day-to-day -day work as a health worker then you can put your designation maybe registered midwife or registered nurse okay and then you put your signature there okay then on the next column on our left side it is asking your parameter number one is asking has the patient triggered meals so it says has meals triggered if it is yes you take it if it is no then the arrow is showing this way so all these things in this box has meals triggered or does a woman look sick so if the meals has triggered maybe the when we say meals has triggered it means the patient's observation is not in the normal range so it has left the white boxes into either the amber or the red box that means the meals has triggered okay or does a woman look sick? If the scenario tells you, for example, in the OSCE exam, that the woman is looking sick, you take it. Or in, in your normal life, the woman you are taking care of looks sick, you take it. Or is baby tachycardic? If the baby is having a, a fetal heart rate of more than 160 beats per minute, more than or equal to 160 beats per minute. Or the baby, if the woman is um, postnatally in the baby's heart rate, is more than this you take it so let's say for example is all of these are correct all of these are taken so you take it if it is yes then the arrow is showing you as you can see here you move to the next box under it if it is no then you move to the right side to the box on your right side but for the OC exam purposes usually for the sepsis maternal sepsis station the meows or something is definitely going to trigger. So it's going to definitely be a yes. So it's either the meows is going to trigger so that you tick one of these boxes, two or three of, two or all of the boxes so that you can come down to this place, this box. For the OSCE purposes, <clears throat> definitely the scenario will be made in such a way that one of these boxes or two or all of the boxes will trigger. So you are going to tick something because the OSCE is testing you on how you are going to manage maternal sepsis okay or let me say red flag sepsis so definitely is going to there will be a tick box where you have to go ahead to you know manage the patient as a red flag sepsis if it is an everyday life in your work as a nurse or a midwife and there is none of these boxes taken then automatically it's a no so the arrows are straight for something the arrows are telling you what to do so for us key purposes we've ticked boxes in the face number one um, parameter so that brings us to the side number two so if it's a yes it comes down here could this be an infection so these are all the things so you have to read through yes but source unclear at present so you are suspecting this scenario could be an infection but the source of the infection you are not sure if you are not sure as per the scenario you get in the oski then you take this one if you are suspecting it's the infection to be from a chorioamnionitis or endometritis, you take urinary tract infection, you take infected caesarean or perineal wound, influenza, severe sore throat or pneumonia, abdominal pain or distension, breast abscess or mastitis, or if there is any other symptom or sign that hasn't been stated here, you take. So let's say, for example, two of these are taken. Let's say, for example, during the scenario, in the scenario or on the male's chart, um, she had some urinary tract infection markers so you can take that one and then let's say for example we can take infected season. so if any of these ticks then it's a yes so the y means yes and the m means no okay so if it is yes then you move to the next box which is definitely going to be there is going to be a yes because the oski exam i repeat is focusing on how you are going to manage a red flag sepsis case okay so the, the scenario will make it possible for you to be in the yes yes column 
So here it is. Number three says, is one maternal red flag present? So all these symptoms here, response only to voice or pain or patient is unresponsive, systolic blood pressure less than or equal to 90 millimeter per mercury or a drop greater than 40 millimeter per mercury from the normal, heart rate greater than 130 beats per minute, respiratory rate. So all these things here, if any of these is taken, then it's a red flag sepsis, okay? And then you would have to start the sepsis 6 pathway now. So when you read your scenario, the scenario is going to give you the meal strat already pre-filled with wherever the woman is triggering, you see it there, it has triggered, and then you have to complete the meal chart, sign your name, the time, and complete it. And then when you complete, you see that the woman has triggered on the meal chart. And as well, the scenario will tell you some, some of these symptoms here. So then that will warrant that you come and use the sepsis screening to, to check if this number three, one maternal red flag is present. So you are going to look through. So here, these blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rates, oxygen saturation are all going to, this information you are going to get from the meal chart, all right? So let's say, for example, the woman's heart rate is greater than 130 beats per minute on the meal chart. And then maybe her respiratory rate is greater than or equal to 25 breaths per minute. And then let's say, for example, um, the scenario said she's not passed urine in the last 18 hours. Okay. I'm, I've just taken three of these. But in the scenario, it could be that you have only one of these maternal red flag presents. Okay. So if any of these, even if it is one trigger, then it is a red flag sepsis. So you come down here, red flag sepsis. So you have to start the sepsis 6 pathway. And it is stated, as you can see, this is time critical and immediate action is required. So if the scenario tells you that you are in the community, then the next thing for you to do is to quickly call the ambulance using the 999 and tell them that you have a red flag sepsis. And so you need immediate transfer to the hospital. And then the next thing will be to call the nearest hospital and inform them that you are going to transfer a patient to them who is a red flag sepsis. And in all of this, you use the ESBA okay in communicating whether you are communicating to the ambulance service or the nearest hospital if you're already in the hospital then you're going to escalate this the coordinator or your senior midwife in charge of the shift and the obstetrician for immediate um review because of red flag sepsis and then you start your sepsis six pathway which is a three in and three out all right but let's say for example um it is not an oski and you are working in the hospital and so Let's say any of these, maybe the woman triggered me out and then you came down to this box and could this be infection? There was nothing taken here. That means it is a no. So if it's a no, you can see the arrow of no is showing this way and then to this. And that means that there is low risk of sepsis. So you use the standard protocols and then you consider discharge with safety nets and consider obstetric needs. So if it is a no, then this is where you are going to go. And then you say that this woman, it is unlikely that she is septic, all right? So this part, that means you are done with the two. But let's say in this second box here, one or two, just as it has ticked here, two of these have ticked, and then you came down here. But then when you came to the third one, it's one maternal red flag present, and it was no, because there was nothing ticking. Then your no arrow is pointing to the fourth box, which is any maternal amber flag criteria. So these are the parameters you can see there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So if any of these, let's say, for example, heart rate is between 100 to 130 or new arrhythmia, and then you take that one, that means a woman is maternal amber flag, okay? So that is going to take you, so that makes it a yes, and that's going to take you to this part, okay? So if she's not a red flag sepsis and she's an amber flag, okay? You are going to send bloods, all right? So this part is not about the OSCE. I'm talking about if you are in the hospital working as a registered staff and you come across this too, how you are going to solve it, how you are going to manage the situation. If it's a red flag sepsis or it's an amber flag, okay? In OSCE, remember I've mentioned, the scenario is going to make it in such a way that it is definitely going to be a red flag sepsis. That is what is trending now as we speak. If something changes and NMC UK decides to make some of it amber flag, then this video will also help you, all right? So let's say, for example, she's triggering one amber flag, okay? So you come down here. So you have to send bloods, all right? If two criteria present, consider if one, if to include 
lactate. And then all these full blood counts, use and needs, ERP, LFTs, and protein. Then when you take the blood sample and you send it, you have to write the time you completed this procedure, taking and sending blood, and then you put your initial date. So let's say, for example, you finished it at 1900, and then you put your initial date by the Hansen, VH, all right? And then the next thing is you have to immediately call the doctor. That's ST3 plus doctor or shift leader. That's your senior midwife, okay? For review, if it's an amber flag, the woman needs review within an hour. But if it's a red flag, then she needs a review immediately now, all right? So let's say, for example, you called the doctor at 16.50. You put the time there and then your initials. And then when the doctor comes in or when your senior midwife comes in, you have to write the time, okay? So the time clinician or midwife attended, you put it there. Let's say you call them and then within an hour, they came in. So about 20, 100, they came in, then you put the initials there. Then when you are done with this, it is asking. So you've done all of this. Then you come down to this next box. It is asking, is acute kidney injury present? If acute kidney injury is present, you take yes. If it is yes, then that turns this amber into a red flag sepsis because acute kidney injury is a red flag sepsis okay just that the woman didn't trigger here and so you have to go through all of these before you realize that when the blood results came back you saw that there was an aki present okay because these bloods that you sent are going to show whether the woman has an aki or not so if aki is present then the woman leaves the amber flag and then into the red flag and then you will have to start the sepsis sex pathway all right if you need um further support and information about the sepsis 6 pathway what you are supposed to do get in touch with me i give support for oski training and you get that all the information there but this video is basically for how to fill the tool itself all right and then if aki is not present it is no so the arrow points here so that means a clinician to make antimicrobial that's antibiotics prescribing decision within three hours so if the woman stays in the amber then the clinician or the doctor will have to make a decision to put the woman on an antibiotics medication within three hours okay that you started the the screening so the time the clinician made the um the decision he is going to write the time and then his initials i hope that was helpful great so that was it about filling out the sepsis screening tool i hope this video helps you to easily fill out your sepsis screening tool in your oski exam or as a registered midwife practicing in the uk again i give oski support to midwives that are preparing for their oski exam so if you need support in preparing or training for your oski top 2021 exam kindly Hit on the uh, my Telegram channel and page links that are in the description section below and join the page and, and channel. And then hit me a message there requesting for support or training for your OSCE Top 2021 exam. If you also need help in any stage that you are in joining the NMC UK register, then the links are there for you. Hit on it and join the page and channel and you get all the help that you need. Guys, it is still just been greatness and thank you for watching the video to the end. I hope and wish you success in your OSCE exam. And until we meet again in my next video, it is take care of yourself and happy new year. There's a miracle in this place.